Today, we go over Monster Monday recap of Being Human and Teen Wolf, possible Lego 2, the movie, and new villain in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. What's up, everybody? This is Totally a Fan, the show where I, a total fan, come to you and bring you the news of movies, comic books, TV shows, video games, and all that jazz, and I bring it to you simply because I want to. And uh, today we are going to go over Monster Monday recap. Now, for those of you who don't know, I kind of mentioned it briefly yesterday, but every Monday I watch, uh, or at least for this season, I'm watching two monster shows. I'm watching Being Human, which stars um, a werewolf, a vampire, and a ghost, um, and then Teen Wolf, which is about a pack of werewolves that is loosely based off the movie. Now, Being Human is loosely based off the UK version. Um, but from what I understand, um, there's a lot of things very similar. And I, I did see the UK version quite a while ago, I think when, the, when they were in the first season, because I wanted to see what that was all about, because my uh, friend got me into it. So I don't really remember the differences in the same, so I'd have to rewatch uh, the UK s series all over again. Um, but if you are a fan of any of those two shows, I'm going to go over a quick little recap. So, SPOILER ALERT! For those of you who don't know, uh, this past uh, episode was called Panic Group, um, and basically what happened was uh, Josh, the werewolf, is going through some weird changes, and basically on this episode he helped out a bunch of wolves, a bunch of werewolves who apparently were expecting a baby, and it turns out that it was a female puppy. They gave birth to a girl puppy. So. Interesting, very interesting how this is going to play out. Um, I didn't get to see the sneak peek of what next week is going to be, so unfortunately I can't really give that to you. Um, although I did see a little bit of something, and I'll explain that a little bit later. Now, Aiden, the vampire, um, he goes through a weird process with him reconnecting with this kid, Kenny, who was uh, seen before in the last season. Now, um, Kenny right now is the new boss in town, taking over the job of Bishop. And he's trying to set up some deals, but apparently there's this Buffy the Vampire Slayer, quote, that's the term they call her. Uh, she showed up and started killing a bunch of vampires in this new organization that Kenny's starting. Now, it turns out that the Vampire Slayer is actually Susanna, Aiden's wife from back in colonial t uh, days. And she's now out and about, and apparently she's all trying to be protective of the humans by killing the vampires before they go all out crazy. Um... All the while while this is going on, Aiden is essentially confessed to his love for Cat, uh, but he's a vampire. Sally, on the other hand, the ghost of the family, sorry, ghost slash zombie slash witch slash ghost slash whatever she is now, uh, she is reconnected with a character we saw, I think, this, I don't remember if it was last season or the season before, uh, Zoe. Zoe used to work in the, um, in the part of the hospital where um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's where they hold the babies after they're born, you know, make sure that they're okay, make sure that they're in a warm environment and stuff like that. Um, I can't for the life of me think of what the heck the room is called or what the center is called, but um, so Zoe works there and she actually can talk to ghosts. So her and Sally connected at one point in earlier in the show, and then something happened, and I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but something happened, they split up. Uh, and now Zoe's back to help, or rather, Sally found Zoe for her next uh, mission to, to help somebody. So Sally now has been picking up these witch powers that she got from a character in a couple episodes before. And now what's going on is that every time she uses a spell, she goes back in time uh, to some weird time. I don't know if there's a specific where on the timeline it falls, I don't know if it was like back in the 80s, I think it was probably in the 80s, um, maybe a little bit older, um, just because they connected with one of the characters who supposedly is the little girl that Sally is trying to help, who she keeps seeing every time she goes back in time. What's weird is that the daughter of this lady kind of looks like the girl, and the girl apparently is was there at the house at some point, and it's possible that the lady that Sally and Zoe went to go visit doesn't remember what happened. It was all some rich, um, ritual kind of type deals where something went on. So who knows? Now the sneak peek I did see. 
supposedly Aiden. Uh, well, before I go on, the actor Sam uh, Whitmer is freaking phenomenal. You've probably seen him in um, Star Wars, um, The Force Unleashed. He's been in a bunch of other nerdy shows like Battlestar Galactica. Um, he was on Smallville, and I really like this guy. I follow him on Twitter, and I definitely like a lot of the things he posts. He's a really big fan, and so he plays the character Aiden the Vampire. So, in a previous interview when the show first started, he described Aiden as being an alcoholic, and that he was trying to struggle with his alcoholism, um, and that's basically how his character starts in the show. So basically, now it's kind of getting back to that. So I, I guess he's gonna tell Cat, or rather, he's gonna continue the conversation next week's episode with Cat. They're gonna freak out. She's gonna freak out, and he'll probably go back on a on a, a blood drinking binge, which you know, for most alcoholics, can be bad sometimes. So that's gonna be interesting to see next week. Now I, I do know that there was some other stuff that goes on, but that's basically the premise of what I got. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to see all of the preview. Um, so that looks super interesting. Next on Teen Wolf. Um, so what's been going on is at the start of this mid-season finale, they, uh, from what I understand, they wanted to go into a Japanese type um, storyline with uh, a fox demon known as the Kitsune. Uh, the Kitsune is supposedly a trickster slash shapeshifter type uh, demon. Um, now, in the show, uh, one of the characters, Chris Argent, who's the dad of Allison who was the female love interest of the main character Scott who is the teen wolf um, her father was a supernatural monster hunter I guess back in the day and one of his very first missions involves a character known as Silverfinger which is the name of this episode um, the name of the gentleman was Katashi and so what happens is there was a meeting. He, I guess he was supposed to help make sure that the meeting went as smooth as possible. And it turns out that these demons, um, which for those of you who know, wear Oni masks, which are demon masks. Uh, they kind of look like ninjas and they showed up and apparently they were hunting a bunch of those guys down. And they were after this one guy who was known as the, can't remember the name, uh, Nogitsune, which I believe was the dark um, fox uh, demon. But, so they talk to Katashi, he explains that there's 13 wolves, or sorry, 13 foxes, and that there's this one bad one. Now, in the, while he's explaining that to Chris, Kira, the new female character who's added to the show, she kind of explains what she knows to Scott about how the kitsune and, and what they can do. And while this is going on, they're kind of getting a little bit close together. Now, prior to them meeting Katashi, um, the plan to try to talk to him, apparently he's a super hard man to get to. Uh, he is a member of the Yakuza. He's probably a high-ranking person in there. So they try to figure out a plan to get to that. And in doing so, it involved Chris Argent, Allison Argent, his daughter, the main female lead, or who was the main female lead, with um, Isaac, who was um, a wolf who was previously part of another pack and now part of Scott's pack. Um, so they ended up hooking up, and it's been kind of hinted at this whole, um, a little bit near the end of last season and the start of this season that it was going to happen, and it happened. So that's uh, so that ended up happening. So that's probably going to play a little part later on. Even though we kind of already know that Isaac wanted to hook up with Allison, Scott already knows it's going down. So we'll see what's going on there. Now, for what I believe is going to happen next week, is on this last episode we saw that Styles, who is Scott's best friend, he may be the Nogitsune, the the dark fox. And what I think it's going to end up happening is that he's going to be maybe, we might see like a demonic possession type deal. Based off the sneak peek we saw, he doesn't look like he can control it so much as what Kira can kind of do. Uh, he looks like it's going to be just some experience that he can't handle. And it might be why he hasn't been able to sleep. Which, by the way, another little spoiler. Um, his mom apparently went through a lot of what he's going now. So that's going to be weird. It's going to be interesting to see. So, guys, if you haven't seen these shows, Being Human, Team Wolf, sorry, Being Human US version and Team Wolf, well, UK version 2, go ahead and check it out. Get back to me next Monday on uh, Monster Mondays, and we'll see what's going on with that next week. Um, so our next topic of news, Lego 2 is supposed to be making a movie. Um, 
Now, the first one is supposed to come out this Friday. I'm super excited. When I first heard about it, it was actually when they released the first teaser trailer of it. And I have got to say, man, I have been behind this movie 100 percent every trailer i see every time i hear about the movie every time i hear people talking about the movie i keep trying to tell them that this lego movie is going to be awesome definitely legos are going to appeal to the kids however the movie itself based off what we've seen i feel like may also bring some element for the adults who may have had legos in the past or just maybe even some adult humor that um that uh, you know the adults will will definitely enjoy as they watch this with their kids now Personally, the trailer, like I said, looks freaking awesome. It doesn't look like any Lego movie we've ever seen. Like the whole Ninjago, the Chima, the Lego Star Wars. I'm sure that's been on Cartoon Network here and there. This looks like it's not going to be anything like that. This this new stop motion is going to look like it's going to be something similar to... You know how when they came out with the new Lego set, you would see like the kid building the thing. You know, whatever set was going on, just... That's kind of what this looks like. Whereas the the other series that we've been seeing just looks like a three you know uh, a three D animated uh, show or movie that was solely for kids. So that's what I'm trying to say is that this Lego movie is, looks like it's going to be awesome for all the age groups. Now the again uh, it's supposed to hit this Friday and apparently they're expecting the movie to make about forty million, um, which I don't remember how much it made, but forty million sounds like a pretty good win so definitely we'll see what's going on with that now the team of Phil Lord and Chris Miller um, they've worked on this first one they've also worked on um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, 21 and 22 Jump Street now supposedly what I heard is that uh, both Mr. Lord and Mr. Miller have a bad track record with sequels but not just that but also animated movies in general but um, but since they are coming back for Jump 22 Jump Street it there's some hope that this second one's gonna be awesome. Now, personally, since we I haven't seen the first one yet, I know there have been some like really early releases and stuff like that here and there. Personally, I'm super excited for the first one. I cannot wait to see the second one um, if they are gonna move forward with it. Um, and I can tell you right now, I'm definitely it's gonna be one of those movies I'm definitely gonna buy on DVD when it comes out. I'm probably gonna watch it a couple times at theaters. Yeah, I think it's gonna be that good. So I definitely recommend go and watch the Lego Movie. Last. A bit of news today. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, Mr. Mark Webb, the director, tweeted earlier, I believe, yesterday, and I missed it on my show yesterday, but he tweeted uh, a big props and big kudos to Mr. B.J. Novak about a new book that supposedly he, he came out with um, and kind of hinted at, like, a little parenthesis after his name as A. Smythe. If you know this character from the Spider-Man animated TV show or from the comic books, you'll know that Mr. A. Smythe, also known as Alistair Smythe, is one of Spider-Man's rogues galleries. The story is Mr. Spencer Smythe, his father, created the um, the Spider Slayers, which if you've seen the show, they look like these big robots They look like spiders. I believe one was a scorpion, one was a spider, one was like a black widow spider. Um, in the comic books, it's, it goes a lot more in detail, a lot more in depth, and it's really awesome. Um, so, Mr. Spencer Smythe created these suits solely for catching Spider-Man. And unfortunately, he died due to technical failure. Um, you know, technology, can't always trust it, but due to te te technical difficulties, he died. And Alistair Smythe decided, you know what, it's my turn. I'm going to do this in honor of my father. He then later becomes a mutant of his of his own doing. Uh, he himself becomes a spider slayer himself. Now, one thing I wanted to tell to all of you guys, the fans. I know there's been some complaints that there's too many villains. But honestly, I think that Mr. Smythe in the movie may not play a big role in the second one. Maybe he's going to be there. Definitely, if they're going to have Norman there... There'll definitely be some communication scenes. I'll probably exchange a little bit of dialogue, maybe a line or two, um, and possibly set him up for the next movie. Possibly. But there's no confirmation on that. You know, I, I don't have any sources telling me that that's what's going on. I don't know 100% if that is what's going on, but that's only what I expect to happen because 
based off all the posters, off all the trailers that we've seen, the movie is going to focus on Rhino, Green Goblin, or Goblin, and uh, Electro. Now, from what I can gather, I definitely think Rhino is going to be an introduction to the movie. You know, we're going to see where Spider-Man now, you know, in the world today, what's he up to. He's probably going to be fighting Rhino. So I don't expect Rhino to be the biggest villain in the movie. I definitely think that's Electro. Electro is going to be, you know, probably 60% of the movie. Maybe 10% is going to be um, Rhino. And everything else is going to be our glimpses of, of Goblin. Um, I definitely think that we may see a little bit of Goblin... Um, it's possible that the second movie could be a, uh, may have like a, a cliffhanger at the end with Goblin. Like maybe they're about to fight and we don't really see it. Now I don't know if that's going to happen, but that that's kind of what I, I'm thinking. I definitely think the main movie is going to cent center around uh, Electro with um, Rhino being the introduction to the new movie and then Goblin possibly being at the end. Now it is possible he can show up here and there because I definitely think the character Harry is going to be throughout the movie, but... Um, I think he himself, as Goblin, is probably going to be later at the end. So, that's where I think it's going on. So, that's it for the news. Now we'll go to your questions. Now, unfortunately, this week I didn't get too many questions. And you guys haven't been commenting on Twitter or anything like that. And I know I have a, have a couple of followers. So, guys, you know, if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any topics you want to hear about, if you guys are unsure about anything in the news of fandom, or if you guys want anything, you know, go ahead, tweet me or post a comment, follow me, let me know. I'm always happy to help, and I definitely want to know what you guys think, especially about news, what's going on today, and, and about my show. I want to make sure that I'm giving the content that you guys want. Um, so, our first question, sorry, our only question, I didn't get too many questions this, uh, today. Alright, sorry guys, I had to go take care of something, um, so I had to kind of cut that, that clip right there. But um, So, we'll go to our question, and the question comes from a Mr. Andre. Black nerd comedy? I hope so. Uh, oh, um, one thing I do want to mention is a lot of the emails that you guys get, or sorry, that you guys have been sending comes in, I guess, from uh, Gmail, it looks like. And so for some reason, it's showing your first name. So if you guys want me to use your, um, your username or uh, your handle, whatever you guys want, make sure you guys note that as uh, the first part of your question. Because um, otherwise, I'm just reading what your what it shows as your name. So I apologize. Um, so Mr. Andre states, "Dear Totally Fan, I like your show. I like your content. I definitely think that the video needs some additional work, but it looks great. Thank you, Mr. Andre. I've been getting some of these emails a bit, and uh, like I said on last video, I definitely want to make sure that my quality to you guys is is up to par. Um, so I do apologize for anything that's wrong here and there, but." Moving forward, oh, um, what is your take on the possible rumor of the post-credit scenes for Captain America being leaked? Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are some of my favorite Avengers, and I definitely think it would be awesome if they be, are in the movie. Thanks, and keep up the good work. Wow. Interesting enough, I actually I watch a, a movie news channel called AMC Movie Talk, and if you guys haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's a great show. Um, and they're part of the reason why I actually wanted to do the show in the first place. And so I saw their show today, and I'm wondering if this this Andre may have seen the show as well. Um, now, from what I heard on the show, the main guy, um, John Campia, he states that he doesn't think that they would... Or I guess he he has a pretty strong belief that they're not going to show the post credit scenes to um, the press um, or to anybody else for that matter. And I agree, actually. I don't think they would do that, especially since that possible leak going out there. Then what would be the point of waiting to see the post credit scene? Um. So I don't. I'm going to agree with uh, with AMC Movie Talk. I don't think it's a legit um, thing. Definitely a rumor. Um. And then they also explained that the source themselves, they don't believe it either. So, um, so yeah, uh, I wouldn't believe the rumor. Now, if it 
does end up that's what's going on, then we'll, you know, we'll, I guess we'll see it at the end of Captain America 2. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, I love Captain America. Captain America was my first comic book I ever picked up. Um, I'm, I love the character, and so, um, I, I'm definitely going to stick around, even if this is what's going on, I'm definitely going to stick around and wait to see what the end credits are. Um, but like I said, I agree with the guys over there at AMC Movie Talk. I don't think this is what's going to go down. It wouldn't make sense for them to talk about it now, you know, so or, so close to its release. But then again, uh, what do I know? I'm just a total fan. I'm not really a critic or anything like that. Um, I just enjoy good movies. I enjoy good uh, quality cinema photography, good storylines and stuff like that. I enjoy comic books, video games, and etc. Um... So I really don't know, you know, what's going on. Like I said, if that's what's going to happen, then we'll see it. Otherwise, I am going to agree with those guys. And I don't think this is legit. So we'll see what's going on. All right, guys, so that's the show. Uh, again, like I said earlier, and like you'll probably hear me saying up until I get to get everything rolling, if you guys have any questions about my quality, if you guys have any ideas for improvements and stuff like that, if you guys have any ideas on, on better programming or things I can use, um, like I said, I'm looking to get a camera soon. But until then... Um, we're going to have to stick with uh, with my webcam for now. But I definitely want to give you guys more content with better quality videos. So please, please, please stick with me. And please expect that to come out soon. So again, that's the show. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Go ahead and post a comment downstairs. All that contact information is going to be downstairs. Or you guys can send me an email. In addition, uh, no, those are... <laughs> That was it. So if you guys have any other questions, comments, or anything like that, go ahead and post downstairs. Let me know. Also, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video and you would like more videos or more content, click subscribe because I try to come out with these every day. And I definitely want to give you guys more news and more information. Now, somebody um, I actually spoke to suggested maybe doing one um, topic a day. That's a possibility, but there's so much information that comes out. I don't want to miss everything. Um, so we'll see how that works. Um, it's possible I could make uh, Monster Monday recap, make it one whole show, and I could possibly do it on Mondays. Um, the weekends, I don't really have any plans to do any kind of weekend shows, at least not yet anyways. Um, and I was thinking about possibly doing Let's Play videos with uh, some of the games I used to play as a kid. So that could be a possibility, but we'll wait and see. But like I said, just go ahead and post anything. Let me know what you guys think. and definitely be something to look forward to. So until then, I'll see you guys next time.